Hi, my name is Lisa Ward and I'm running for office in Alabama. Many times we fail to realize how critical exercising our voting rights are. We often see in our climate things that make us feel like our vote doesn't matter or count. And I'm here to debunk that myth and tell you countless times a race was too close to call and it could have been your vote that made the difference. State laws change and while we are not paying attention, often they affect our voting rights. For example, there's a law in place that basically says, if you don't use it, you lose it. But what does that mean? It means if you do not exercise your right to vote in two consecutive federal elections, the Secretary of State has the right to purge you from the eligible voter registration database. Now for that reason alone, we don't want that to happen. Voting is a responsibility we have to show interest in sustaining our freedoms for democracy in this country. And the moment that we stop caring about those fundamental rights, authoritarian government can slide in and her voice is gone. Each generation owes this pay it forward effort to protect what others before us have provided us. And it is our responsibility to do the same for those after us. So I want to spend a few minutes explaining to you something that many might not have attempted to do before. I want you to understand how important all elections are, how critical knowing individual candidates are. Forgetting about a straight ticket vote and taking the time to hand select each candidate that has put themselves out there for public service. They deserve our effort to look at their name on that ballot and be counted. That happens when you color in their dot on election day. This is one way to prevent voter fraud and hindering anyone tempted to split your ticket by coloring in a circle that you might have overlooked. Let me give you an example of why all elections are vital, especially midterm elections. That is when people are not paying attention, but there are no electoral college votes interfering with our choices. It truly is one voice and one vote. We need to take advantage of that. When you don't vote, you decrease the number of voters that are counted and polling locations are reduced because of it. There's no need for them if you don't show up to vote. One more thing. This is just an example of why your votes do count. In our climate today, there are folks that aren't happy with our police departments and our officers, and they don't like the job they're doing. I hope you realize the sheriff you elect or don't elect hires and determines the officers in your neighborhood so that can be prevented by making sure that you know the leader of that department is worthy of our votes. So let's get started. I want you to understand what elected officials are responsible for and how their role affects your life, shall we? Let's talk about the state auditor. The Alabama state auditor is a state executive position in the Alabama government. Many people don't know this, but the auditor is responsible for making a report to the governor of receipts and disbursement of every character, all claims audited and paid out and all tax and revenues collected. This includes things like missing items, stolen items, broken items, pay attention, look those reports up. They are so critical. The office also tracks all state non-consumable property worth $500 or more and serves on a number of state finance committees. Bet you didn't know there's pool tables down there at the state house, did you? There's a lot of things we don't know. The Alabama Constitution requires the state auditor to make a report to the governor every year showing the receipts and disbursements of every character. All claims audited and paid out by items and all taxes and revenues collected and paid into the treasury and the sources thereof. Additionally, the auditor performs post audits of the accounts and records of the treasurer and of the Department of Finance. 
The auditor also serves as a member on the following state boards. Listen up carefully, pay attention. The State Board of Adjustment, the State Board of Appointments, the Board of Registrars, the State Board of Compromise, the Alabama Education Authority, the Penny Trust Fund. This is a big role, people. The auditor's office is responsible for tracking all non-consumable state property worth $500 or more. And I have to say that again, because there's a lot of things that's $500 or more. They do perform these audits of those items every two years. And I believe their current salary is somewhere in the ballpark of 80 to 90,000 a year. So once again, pay attention to our tax dollars and where it's going. 